Hi guys! Kamusta kayo? Welcome to our channel. Ano lang mga balita sa mga buhay-buhay natin? I've been away for a wee while. Hindi ako nakapag-upload because it has been so busy personally with work and family life. Sorry, hindi ako nakapag-upload. Um, I've been aiming to do it every Saturday. Pero yun nga, naging sobrang busy. Kaya pasensya na guys. But I've got something nice for all of you, especially for nurses who would like to register here in New Zealand. May mga nagtatanong kasi sa akin kung paano daw makapag-register as a nurse here. Mostly yung mga nag inquire mga nasa Middle East at saka yung nasa Pilipinas of course. And because of that, I thought it would be nice for me to do a step-by-step -step video para alam nyo kung paano gagawin yung process na ito. There has been changes before you will go straight away and make an application sa Nursing Council of New Zealand. But now, they've got CGFNS involved in the picture. And that is what I'm going to talk about. I'll be sharing with you the step-by-step -step process on how you may register as a nurse here in New Zealand. Guys, if you want to know more, just keep on watching. First of all, I would like to say a big thank you to all of my subscribers and if you haven't done this yet, just click on that button as well as the notification bell so you'll always be updated whenever I upload a new video. Just a reminder, I am not an immigration lawyer, I am not an immigration consultant, I'm not an immigration advisor and I don't work for or I am not affiliated with Immigration New Zealand nor with CGFNS nor with the Nursing Council of New Zealand. As I would always say, whatever I share are based on personal experiences or experiences of people that I know. And of course, based on what I do read from legitimate websites of these bodies. If you have watched my videos before, you might have encountered one wherein I mentioned that I am a registered nurse in the Philippines. But I sort of like went into a different path here in New Zealand. But there's a lot of questions about how can they get registered here in New Zealand. And I thought it would be a good thing for me to share to all of you guys. Especially I know someone who is currently working on their registration as a nurse. Tinulungan niya ako para mag-guide ako sa step-by-step -step process on how to become a registered nurse here in New Zealand. Without further ado guys, we'll go straight away to step number one. The first thing you need to do is to make an account under CGFNS International. You don't need to take a CGFNS examination. Let me be clear on that because I've received questions about do you need to take the examination like NCLEX. So the answer is no. CGFNS is mainly the one who makes assessments on your documentations. So everything that you submit for assessment is through CGFNS. After you've filled out all the fields that are required, when you make an account, you would need to pay 300 US dollars. And once you have paid, you will receive a list of requirements displayed in your account. There are five main requirements in this stage. First is identification. So when you fill out your registration for your account with CGFNS, they will require two types of identification. In the case of the person who gave me all these information, he presented his passport and his driver's license. Now you need to make a copy of these and you need to have it notarized before you upload it into your CGFNS for assessment. If in case you live in an area wherein there is no means for you to have your documents notarized, you may visit a website. It's Notary Cam. It is also in the CGFNS um, international account. You'd be able to go there and then have your documents notarized for uploading in your CGFNS account. Since New Zealand is an English-speaking country, you would also need to prove your English proficiency. And that is through taking an IELTS or OET exam. These are the only examinations that are recognized by the Nursing Council of New Zealand. And since last year, specifically August 19, 2022 from 12 p.m. of that day, 
they've implemented their new policy with regards to their English proficiency requirement. Prior to this, they require each band of the IELTS exam to be at 7. And with OET, it used to be 350 each band. I think it is the writing part that has been pretty tricky. If you have taken the IELTS, you might know what I'm talking about. Because that is the specific area wherein they implemented changes. But since they've made this change or their refreshed policy, the minimum score for IELTS writing is down to 6.5 and the minimum score for OET's writing is down to 300. For the next two requirements, you may need a special power of attorney if in case you are not in the Philippines or your home country. In the case of the person who helped me with these information, since he's here in New Zealand, he needed to go to the Philippine Embassy in Wellington to secure an SBA because personal appearance is a requirement. You may now start working on your registration and education requirements. If you go to your CGFNS account, you'll see forms that you'd need to print for your school or university wherein you completed your Bachelor of Science in Nursing and forms wherein you needed to print to provide to the registration body in your home country. In the Philippines, it's the PRC or the Professional Regulation Commission. So you need to sign all of these forms. You'll, you just go ahead and read and find a spot wherein you need to sign. After completing that one, send it to the person who is your SBA and then have them go to your school and the PRC. Just a tip, you need to make a booking before you go to PRC to secure your certificate of good standing as well as your state board verification. According to other people who gone through these um, requirements with their school, some of them may take up to three months. It actually depends on the university how long they process. And then with PRC, it has been said based on what I've gathered, it's roughly up to a month before they were able to secure these documents that they require. So when you print these forms, you will see there are instructions for your school and for PRC. It is them who will send all the completed forms to CGFNS in Philadelphia. So these completely filled out forms won't go through you. It will go straight to CGFNS. And once they have received it, you will see an update in your account. And um, the last requirement is your proof of employment history. Of course, you may not be able to apply to Nursing Council of New Zealand unless you've got at least two years of experience in the last five years. Of course, you need to have your certificate of employment. If it is not in English, please have them translated. And I also gathered information about some people finding it difficult to secure a certificate of employment, especially yung sa mga nasa Middle East or mga Saudi. So recently, CGFNS has started accepting self-attestation. So kumbaga parang you will be writing a narrative about your professional experience as a nurse. They do accept it, apparently. But then, if you've got means to secure your COE, please do. Don't make this as an excuse for you to just write a narrative about your nursing experience and not make an effort to apply for a certificate of employment from your employer. Just to give you an overview, once you've made your CGFNS account and you haven't submitted anything yet, you'll see it is noted as awaiting documents. Once they have received documents, it will change into awaiting documents for evaluation. And once it is evaluated, it'll change documents completed. And also, guys, if in case you have uploaded anything and you've noticed that it has been taking a wee while under the documents awaiting for evaluation stage, don't be shy to let them know and make a follow-up. It is really important for you to maintain your communication with CGFNS, especially if it's taking a bit of more time than what you, you'd expect. There's nothing wrong if you will make a follow-up and I think if this is something that you're really aiming for, you'll be a bit impatient. <laughs> you'll try to ask what's happening, how come it's taking a long time. So don't forget to ring or email if you can't ring. Then after they've done the evaluation phase, you will receive an email of a report summary. You just need to verify if everything's perfectly done. 
make sure walang mga wrong spelling, mga wrong information. If it's the correct report summary, just click yes or okay para ma-send back na siya straight away to CGFNS. But if there's any corrections, you just need to type it in, I think, down the bottom of um, the form of the report. And then they'll make corrections on that. Yung sa kakilala ko, he received the email of the report summary today, for example. Then nag -yes na siya, everything was fine, okay, sent back. The next day, he received an email from the Nursing Council of New Zealand inviting him to apply my IQN. So it's like your account in the Nursing Council of New Zealand. You'll be given a username and a password. You just need to reset the password once you've logged in for your security, of course. And after that, a case manager will contact you. Just a reminder, it still varies. In the case of the person I know, it took three days before he received an email from his case manager. And your case manager will be requesting for further documentation. One thing that was requested from him was his curriculum vitae or his CV. So mag-prepare na kayo ng CV while waiting for any process. I-prepare nyo na yung CV ninyo. He was requested to ask his clinical manager to send an email directly to the case manager with information stating if the clinical manager recommends him to the Nursing Council of New Zealand and if he is a suitable candidate for a CAP. And another thing, medyo mahaba to ha, so I will read it. It's pretty long. They also requested for his place of employment before to send an email stating that he was employed as a registered nurse, the number of hours he practiced while he was there, or a confirmation that he was working full-time. The clinical setting, so if geriatric, surg surgical ward, or whatever. And the date he started employment there and the date he finished employment there. So, hiningin nila yung evidence niyon despite sending certificates of employment. And after you have completed everything that your case manager has requested from you, cap letter na yung sunod doon. So, magaantay na lang kayo ng cap letter, invitation for you to study the cap course. Then after that, once you receive your invitation, it's time for you to look for a school and become a registered nurse here in New Zealand soon. Before I forget, you may be required to submit an ICHC or the International Criminal History Check. Another vlog is nearly ending. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please don't forget to share, especially if you've got colleagues or family or friends who would like to register here in New Zealand. Thank you very much for watching once again. You all have a happy weekend. Bye!